Hello again, Stitchers. Cool weather is approaching and I am so looking forward to spending the winter months with you on another hand stitch project. This one is called A Little Birdie Told Me, a handcrafted boudoir pillow. As always, you can make this 18 inch block into anything you'd like, but it does work really well as a pillow just because the textures appear to sort of come forward as the light hits the contours of its shape. This project started with the simple act of a tiny common bird who landed near me several years ago while I was in Hawaii sharing a meal with my family. It was one of those things that I could have easily missed as it was so commonplace, but because I was in the now and I was happy and content, I was keenly aware of his presence. And he sat and pecked and I had time to take in all his colors and feathers and textures that made him special. It was as if he landed to say, enjoy this moment and enjoy every moment. So from time to time over the next few years, I thought of this little birdie and decided to stitch this little symbol of a happy time. And it was a great experience because it took me back to that meal that I had with people that are special to me. You know, one of whom my grandpa Bud is no longer with us. So I, I always think of grandpa when I see this little bird. You know, in slow stitching and focusing on the details of this little guy brought, brought a lot of peace recalling that beautiful memory and, and now I've decided to give him a place to live so I could see him every day and I'm happy to share the process with you. So the project starts on December 30th, which is a Sunday, the Sunday just before New Year's. We will begin by taking the photo and turning it into an embroidery. In the following nine weeks, we're gonna work um, some reverse applique, a beginning tatting motif, um, more crochet, some more Oya, advanced embroidery, and just a little bit of stump work. And of course, I will have limited kits available on my Etsy store beginning December 1st, and I'll announce that availability on my website um, and the Facebook group called Mandala Unplugged. And on that group, rather than start another group that we all have to rejoin, let's just share this experience on the Mandala Unplugged um, place just because we're all there together already and people are still working on the Mandala. You know, if you want to use your stash, which of course I'm always a proponent of, you can now find a list of supplies, templates, and materials um, as a PDF on my website. So, happy gathering, and thank you for your interest in joining me on another hand stitch journey. Email me at nittycat at comcast.net or post in Facebook on the Mandala Unplugged group if you have any questions. You know I'm always happy to hear from you guys. All right, so we will see you soon. Happy holidays to you, and uh, we'll bring in the new year with this little birdie.